I think part of our challenge is to raise the profile of teaching and learning in higher education. For some reason, you know, we say we have three priorities in higher education institutions, research, teaching, and service. And for some reason, we've rank ordered them in a particular way at this particular moment in time. And I think it's the responsibility of leaders in higher education, including those here, to elevate our teaching practice for the benefit of society. This is a big part of our social contribution, our obligation to society, is to train the next generation of citizens. And if we're not fulfilling that responsibility as best we can using the best science available to us, we're not fully fulfilling our responsibility. Something else which is very, very important, I think, uh, in, in the project, for the project is uh, the way I sort of think about learning science and uh, is there are now starting to be a number of known knowns in uh, effective teaching and learning. Okay? And, and they, they come from a variety of domains in learning science. The challenge uh, is how we can apply the known knowns in learning science uh, and make that available to practitioners. But it's not a one-time thing, it's a cyclical thing. So uh, we have these uh, techniques, knowledge, insights that's coming from the world of learning science. Uh, we want to get it in the hands of, think of it as tools for the practitioners. The practitioners would apply it. Uh, but we want to collect data from the application and then bring it back to the research community. So there's this cycle between research, practice, collecting data, and then uh, making constant improvements. In medicine, we use a lot of the data that is out there to improve practices. Um, and we don't do that as much in education, where most teachers are left alone in, in their classrooms to do what, what they deem is to be right. And many teachers care very deeply about how to do that and, and, and do a great job. But there's more that can be done by using some of the data and doing some research in those kinds of environments. So we have a number of strategic initiatives that we're working on at the Colorado Community College system. So taking a um, not only a strategic approach, but also a research and evidence-based approach will help us look at are those um, initiatives that we're doing effective? Are they making a measurable impact on student learning and student success? And really helping us then reflect on our practice and operationalize those types of initiatives. There's some very, very big challenges uh, that the educational community faces. So at the turn of the 20th century, uh, uh, in, in, other, in another domain, uh, David Hilbert, a uh, very famous mathematician, posed uh, 13 or 15 big challenges in mathematics. Uh, this is in 1900. And uh, that led to an uh, incredible amount of innovation in mathematics, so, so the work of Alan Turing behind computer science and so on, uh, fell out from posing those challenges. So the uh, way I think about the educational, uh, the, the empirical educator project is there are some grand challenges in education. Uh, they're, they're, they're really hard uh, and we haven't solved it. Uh, so let me give you one example. One example is uh, six uh, as high as seven out of 10 students who enter community and colleges uh, and open access institutions, uh, they need some form of remediation in math. Uh, of those six or seven students, only about 15, uh, maybe as high as 25%, that's one out of four, succeed. That's incredibly low uh, and that's the first hurdle. And we know that if they don't make it past that first hurdle, we're not talking about graduating, it's just making it past the first hurdle, uh, uh, they don't succeed. Uh, this problem, so hundreds of thousands uh, of students are entering our system on an annual basis and failing. Uh, and this is, it's catastrophic, uh, and there's been no resolution uh, we've tried so many things. Uh, we've poured billions of dollars into trying a variety of things, and none of it has succeeded at scale. So this is a grand challenge. It's, it's a very important problem that hasn't been solved. Uh, but we think that there are solutions to this uh, using 
uh, technologies such as adaptive learning, uh, uh, implement new implementation methods, and so on. So I think uh, using uh, the Empirical Educator pro Project is going to allow us to, as a community, put together the best, best minds and, and try to solve some of these grand challenges.